Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere on the 18th of April in 75. Hardly a man is now alive who remembers that famous day and year. Recognize that? That is uh, the opening stanza of Paul Revere's ride. And we are here, I am visiting with the author of that piece, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Among his other famous works, Evangeline, The Song of Hiawatha, and The Courtship of Miles Standish. He was born on February 27th, 1807 in Portland, Maine. Uh, he was a descendant from uh, Priscilla and John Alden of Mayflower fame. He was a bookish lad who wrote his first poem, The Battle of Lovell's Pond, and had it published in the Portland Gazette when he was just 13. He uh, studied in Europe, traveled Italy, France, and Spain between 1826 and 1829. <clears throat> and uh, and uh, he is so famous in his works that if you were to go to Westminster Abbey in Poets' Corner, there is a bust of him. So that's really cool. I gotta forewarn you, finding him is a pain. The, uh, none of the, uh, like find a grave, uh, the, the cemetery, uh, app, which we are back, which we are at uh, Mount Auburn's in Cambridge, Mass. Forgive me for not telling you that right off. <coughs> so let's, it, it doesn't take you, it takes you like in front of a hill. You gotta, I basically had to scale a hill in order to uh, get here. So that's why I'm a little out of breath. I mean, I am in shape. Round is a shape, right? So anyway, let's take a look. We've got Alice Mary Longfellow. Charles Appleton Longfellow, enlisted as a private in light battery in 1863, second lieutenant, first Massachusetts Cavalry, was discharged for disability in 1864. And we've got his two wives. Boy, that must be comfortable. Mary Storer Potter. Wife until 1835, Frances Elizabeth Appleton, Fanny Longfellow. And over here we got Ernest Wadsworth Longfellow. And then Harriet Spellman. And the big, the big, so the center square, you can't really see it too well, it's faded in time, is Henry himself. He gets the center square. So, let's uh, show you from around. Like I said, he is on a hill. Okay, let's take a long view from the road. Okay, so that's going to do it for uh, this edition of New England Graveyard. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like it if you did. Please subscribe because you never know what I'm going to do next. And uh, I will see you all on the next one. Bye.